This was a vice president whose life, whose family's life, was being threatened by people whom the president had summoned to the Capitol. And what did President Trump do in response? Did he stop? Did he tell his base no? Don't attack my vice president? Even when President Trump knew what his words were causing, he didn't do any of those things to stop the crowd. In fact, he did the opposite. He fueled the fire. At 2.24 p.m., he tweeted, quote, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution. USA demands the truth. Over an hour and a half into the attack, and this is what he tweeted. And he still, even at this point, did not acknowledge the attack on the Capitol, let alone condemn it. Instead, he further incites the mob against his own vice president, whose life was being threatened. Well, some of you may say, well, who was paying attention anyway? Well, that mob was paying attention. Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution, giving states a chance to certify a corrected set of facts, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones which they were asked to previously certify. U.S. demands the truth. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.